Hi, I'm Nina Sanders and I'm the head coach of the cross country program. This year um, we had a very young team and um, we were very excited to nurture and guide them through their running experience. The team really came together and genuinely bonded. They were a goofy bunch that really loved um, doing special breakouts at the end of practice, rolling down the hills, um, playing ultimate frisbee, having dance parties on the bus. We just had a really good time. But aside from that, we also had some fantastic runners. So the awards that I have are for um, Rookie of the Year is Cyrus Manugian. The Grit Award goes to Friedrich Dros. Um, the most valuable runner for the boys team was Noah Wright. On the girls' end, um, we had the Positivity Award for McKenna Green, we had the Heart of the Team Award for Edie Hall, and the most valuable runner was Haven Benarowitz. Hello, I'm Dale Earnhardt, and I'm going to speak on behalf of the JV football team this year. Um, we are very proud of these young men as they practice with the varsity every single day from early August. The team went 3-0 in their first JV season in almost eight years. They outscored their opponents 101 to 15 in the three games. Congratulations on a great JV season. Our three award winners. First, the MVP, Eunice Altasenar. Our offensive award goes to Luke Earnhardt. And our defensive award goes to Robert Mallard. Congratulations. I'm Coach Sturdivant. And uh, it's been a great year so far here at Raven Gap, my first season. Uh, what a great group of kids, what a special group of individuals. It's been an incredible season so far. Um, I'm here to present our award winners for 2020. And uh, I'm going to start with our Offensive Player of the Year, kid that's worked extremely hard for us. It's been a workhorse of the offense, touching the ball 15 to 20 times a game. Uh, it, it's really come on towards the end of the season, and I'm extremely proud of his work, work ethic. He's a senior and incredible football player, Pato Torres. Congratulations, Pato. Our Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, this kid has been phenomenal for us uh, all season long, making plays on offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, it's been an incredible leader in the backfield um, and also has laid some big time hits. And uh, Coleman Bryson is our Defensive Player of the Year. Congratulations, Coleman. Our Overall team player of the year, the most valuable player. So our team MVP, it's got, it's, I, mean, I think it's got to be unanimous. It's going to go to our kicker, Dominic Sojat. Congratulations, Dominic. I'm proud of you, and uh, congratulations. Hi there. I'm Nicole Ager. I am the girls' golf head coach. This season, we had a lot of personal gain of our golfers. A lot of them came out and learned how to hold a club for the first time. And it was really exciting to see all the golfers of all levels achieve some new success. Um, Sela came out a long way this season in her ability as a golfer. She actually shot her lowest round while at States. Um, Aaron and Jade scored among some of the top players while at States. And Catherine and Genevieve started their season um, debut on the varsity team and then made it to states. Um, in all, Genevieve Maddox gets the most improved award. Celia Price earned the coach's award for leading the way with her um, work ethic this year and Erin Blakely earns the Soaring Eagle Award for her dedication and being medalist in the most rounds. Hi, this is Stephen Carplus. I'm the coach for the girls varsity tennis team. Uh, we had a good season this year. It was a tough season. Um, we only played against the really uh, tough teams in our division. We didn't have any matches against uh, the teams that we usually do really well against. So it was a tough year, but we came through it well and we improved all season long um, and we had some good, good results towards the end of the season. Um, our award winners for this season uh, for the Leadership Award, that'll go to Lexi Burnett. The Most Improved Player Award will go to Francesca Sergal. And the Most Valuable Player Award will go to Rebecca Lay. Hello, I'm Terry Kleinick. I am the JV head coach of the boys soccer program. Um, we had a very successful season this past year where we won six and lost one. And that one loss was to a varsity team. Um, we had limited numbers, but we 
play really well together with what we have. My three award winners for this year were Most Improved, which was Sean Ayavor, and my MVP was Dawson Kirkland, and my Coach's Award went to Leo Badello. I'm Coach Brown, boys varsity soccer coach. We had a very successful season this year, finishing 13-3, and 5-1 and one in the conference, and we won our conference championship. This was our second consecutive state final, our third consecutive final four, and we were led by our captains, Timmy Brono, Jacobo Sanz, and Will Prim. Um, we were fortunate enough to have six all-conference players this year. We had Sebastian Zavala, Jacobo Sanz, Hugo Garcia, Marco Gonzalez, Adne Bracco, and Jordan Grivikoff. And for all state this year, we had Sebastian Zavala, Jacobo Sanz, Hugo Garcia, and Marco Gonzalez. Our award winners this year were Sebastian Zavala, who was the most outstanding player, Jacobo Sanz got the Leadership Award, and Timmy Brono was the unsung hero. I'm Courtney Ledford. I'm the head of the volleyball program here at Rabin Gap. For JV Volleyball, Coach Anna and Coach Gabby are very proud of the JV girls this year and how they did on their season. Um, and though they wish they could give everyone an award because volleyball is definitely a team sport, we can only give three. So for JV Volleyball this year, the silent leader goes to freshman Bella Wells. The Hustle Award goes to sophomore Caroline Bonomo, and the Eagle Spirit Award goes to sophomore Kalia Jackson. Varsity Volleyball ended our season with a 7-9 record. Gianna Sparks led the team with 36 aces. Epek Uritan had 96 kills. Chaney Morardi had 10 solo blocks. Clarence Spivey led with 122 digs. And Julia Sadlon had 249 assists. Uh, for this year's award winners, Coach Madison and I chose an offense MVP, a defense MVP, and a team MVP. For this year's offense MVP, this player has been a part of the varsity volleyball program for four years. She ended her season with 81 kills and 36 aces. She ranks in the top five for 4A volleyball in serving aces. She is a six rotation player and was team captain for her junior and senior year. So this year's offense MVP is senior Gianna Sparks. For this year's defense MVP, this player averaged 2.6 digs a set, had over 120 digs on the season, led our team on serve receive, racked up 26 aces of her own, and is ranked in the top five in the state in both digs and aces for the sophomore class of 2023. She was also one of our team captains. This year's defense MVP is sophomore Claren Spivey. For this year's team MVP, this player is very much the heart and soul of our team. Every play runs through her. She touches everything. Her position is by far the hardest to replace. Um, we couldn't do anything without her. She is our silent leader and a team captain. She had 20, 249 assists on the season, putting her in the top 10 in the state. This year's team MVP is senior Julia Sadlon. Senior Gianna Sparks was also awarded all-conference honors. Hi. So a quick art shout-out to the cast and crew of our fall musical, Into the Woods. It was a really, really crazy journey this year. Um, and I continue to be just impressed and inspired and amazed by the passion and the adaptability of our aspiring performers and technicians here. Um, it, it's just a constantly amazing thing to see all of this hard work and energy all form together into a team and create such a, an amazing, amazing experience. I can't tell you just how much work and energy went into the show this year to make this happen. So a um, couple of quick performance shout outs. Uh, we had several new cast members who'd never been up on the main stage before and we had lots of them this year actually and I just wanted to shout out to a couple of them in specific. Um, first of all, our best new female performer uh, goes to Jenica Ulrich. Uh, just for constantly finding new things to do and new ways to play the character and, and, and just being willing to just come out there and play. Um, so congratulations, Jenica. Um, for our best new male performer, uh, our award goes to Owen Nowak for just being charming. Um, he, he always worked so hard backstage, constantly practicing, constantly making things better, and he was just so wonderful to have around as part of the team this year. Um, 
And then the All-Star Performer Awards. This uh, this could go to any number of actors this year. I mean, this show had so many wonderful characters and performances and all of that. Um, we could literally highlight the whole cast. So we're just going to pick a couple of them uh, just to really give a shout out to. Uh, first of all is Peyton Coppage, just for her consistency and being there and all the hard work and pulling everybody together as a team and just being awesome. And secondly, to Cooper Niddle. For, for just being phenomenally funny, both as himself and also with all of his little puppeted pet friend, cow, chicken, harp things that he had to deal with and he made them feel like characters and he just did an amazing job. Um, so finally, uh, Tech Award. Um, again, this could go to the whole crew. It was amazing. Um, but a special shout out to Brock Jones this year, I mean, for working on construction and doing the lights and, and for the effects and for dealing with that stupid, stupid fog machine. So special shout out to Brock Jones. Um, and thanks to everybody, cast, crew, and the whole audience that came out to support this year with this weird, wild adventure that we took. And um, I hope everyone had a good time. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And we'll see you at the next show.